field of nine free for all pacers are lining up for tonight's seventh race the two hundred eighty five thousand dollar graduate final the world's top pacers and fastest pacers are lining up and getting ready for a start here they come Life Source is trying to leave out of there. Four Star Shark guns out for the chance from the inside. Armbro Animate with early speed as well as uh, Escape the Wind floats out there in mid pack position with Mini Me towards the inside fourth there. Round the first turn, Four Star Shark and La Chance with the pedal down. Four Star Shark, Life Source up to engage him early. Armbro Animate is third. Here comes Escape the Wind up on the outside from fourth around Mini Me, fifth on the inside. Dr. Drew is sixth past the quarter. Then it's Boulder Creek getting underway, followed on the inside side by Hollywood Sam and Life Sizzles 26 and 1. Life Source clears the top down the back stretch. Life Source, last week's winner, leads the way with four star Shark playing the give and go here right back to the top for the chance. Gap at two. Armbro Animate is third. Then it's Escape the Wind. Still parked out there. Has not cleared the cones. And Escape the Wind is out now. And he will grind in the first over. Mini Me is trapped on the inside fifth. Boulder Creek is uh, second over following Escape the Wind into the flow goes Silverman with Hollywood Sam followed by Dr. Drew and Life Sizzles have 53 and 3 27 and 2 in that second quarter four star shark getting away already four star shark by three looking to blow it wide open here as they approach three quarters life source not keeping pace in second escape the wind first over escape the wind and trapped in his arm bro animate as they race by three quarters Boulder Creek now with a now fourth position on the outside trying to track down the raging shark here 121 and four, four star shark by five. It's four star shark all alone here with escape the win all out in second. Battles on for minor spoils here. Boulder Creek is third and then on the outside Hollywood Sam. He's left the best pacers in the world in his wake. It's another shark attack. Four star shark one, 48 and one. He just missed the stakes record. And then it was escape the win followed by Boulder Creek, four star shark. Number three, four star shark, a six year old bay horse by Cam's card shark out of Winston Day by On the Road Again. Owned by the FS Star Stables, Glenwood, New Jersey, trained by Dave Sabatelli. Mike Lachance in the sulky for the stakes record of 148 and 1. Mike set the uh, stakes record of 148 and 3 with Western Ideal in 2000 and won back to back with Ball and Chain in 95 and 96. Four Star Shark winning the 2004 edition in 148 and 1, a career best by a full second. His third win in four starts. He's just warming up for another sensational season. A runner up in 2003. He's eligible to $4 million worth of stakes this season. Number three, four star shark pays 280, 240, and 210. The seven, escape the wind, 340, 280, and the eight, Boulder Creek, 340, 37 exacta, 1020, 378, trifecta, $49.40. The pick three was 210 and three, 2180. Winner's circle and trophy presentation to follow, along with a winner's circle interview. Post time for the eighth at 10 o'clock. No changes in 16 minutes. Marty. And Deanna Turner, welcome to New Jersey. Exacta trifecta, pick three, eight, nine, and ten. Race nine, scratch seven, Rommel, a judge's scratch. Tenth race, scratch one and two. Matt Nefesto and Optimist and both sick. Making the trophy presentation, Matt Dobeck, welcome to the Meadowlands.
to this race here, Four Star Shark, who's had a spectacular first three weeks. What were you thinking of uh, post position number three? Well, that, that's the, the, the best spot he could draw, and <clears throat> the horse was uh, awful good last week. He came from behind, and he was strong in the stretch. He made, he made up a lot of ground. I knew he was uh, in super shape for tonight. Yeah, Blythe Source came after you in the back stretch. You retook. Take us from there to the rest of the mile. Well, I just I took him for a piece there, and uh, when I made sure that uh, I was going to get right back uh, in front. In the last turn, I'm sitting on him, a uh, lot of horse, and uh, I just pulled the, the plug uh, top of the stretch, and I let him pace from the top of the stretch to the, to the wire, and, you know, he was very, very strong. This is the 11th millionaire you've driven in this race. Is this uh, in the class Western Ideal and those kind of horses? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's quick, and... Uh, so far, you know, it's hard to, for me to say I only drove him uh, four times. And uh, you saw him uh, race uh, every time I, I drove him. So, you know, like, uh, it's a tremendous horse right now. Okay, thanks to Michael Chance. Dave Sabatelli, we have a shoe change tonight for your, your horse? Yeah, we put the aluminums on him tonight. We had the steels on. I thought tonight was a good night to make a switch. Tell us about a little bit about the one thing that might have been missing from his resume the last couple of years was leaving the gate. This year, he's got that. I think Mike helps him a lot in that department. Uh, it seems to you, know, you want to control as many races as you can, and that's the place to be. Put the good horses on the front and let the chips fall where they may. Where does he go from here? Uh, he goes up to Western Fair, I think it is, for the Molson Pace uh, next weekend. Okay, Junior Sabatelli. We're going to Jeff Cohen from the Preakness to the Winter Circle in the Graduate. Uh, Smarty Jones to Four Star Shark. You're having a pretty good day. It's not a bad day, and the best part of it was we cold cocked the try in the Preakness. So add that to Shark jogging and winning 48 and a piece, putting a lifetime mark on. I want to give my accolades, though, to Junior and Mike. We knew we wanted to put a, tonight was a good night to put a mark on him, and he betted his lifetime mark by a full second. But he was just in another gear tonight. He was untouched, under a death grip. Uncle Mikey had all kinds of time still left in the tank. This is just a world champion that we got to witness tonight, and we're glad to be a part of his success. Wasn't there a possibility, though, that he wasn't coming back this year at six? Wasn't that a thought? Uh, I think you're looking for way too much information, Hollywood. I mean, we wanted to race him. The best position for us to be is right here in this winter circle on Saturday night after the Preakness. So that's where we're in this game and spending the kind of money that we do on the game. Better now than ever. What's next for Four Star Shark? What's, in, what's the summer look like? We got a great stake schedule, actually. I think the entire year totals about 4.7 million in stake schedules. Um, we hope we get a good chunk of that. And the shark is just keep, keeps proving that these sons of Cam Fella, or grandsons of Cam Fella and sons of Cam's card shark, just get better and better and better. I mean, I don't know where his bottom is. Um, Junior teases me and 